Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. I'm your host, Rebecca Rice, and I teach family photographers how to gain a life of freedom through a thriving photography business. I'm so excited about this episode because we're gonna be diving into five poses that you could use in your red truck mini sessions. Now, you may be thinking, why are we talking about red truck minis if you're watching this live in June? Well, if you haven't watched my previous video, go watch that. We're talking all about running a Christmas in July mini sessions campaign. We don't shoot our minis in July, but we do start advertising them. And so this is kind of a continuation of that, kind of getting into the theme of Christmas and, um, you know, red truck mini sessions. Those are just the top sellers for us and for so many other photographers that I know. Red truck Christmas minis are so popular. And so I wanted to dive into our five top favorite poses that you can do with a truck to keep things interesting, to keep your gallery nice and, and um, have good variety and all the things. So let's dive in. Now, if you haven't already, do me a favor and go ahead and like this video so that other photographers like you can find it easier and go ahead and subscribe to our channel so that you can be notified when new videos go live. Now, before I get too far into our red truck posing, I wanted to let you guys know about a free posing class that I have just for you guys that this is gonna be very like skimming the surface, but if you wanna dive deeper into posing, you feel like posing is one of your weakest links and you, know, you find yourself stalling and freezing up and trying to figure out what to do next and posing just is not a strong suit for you, then this class is going to be so helpful. It's called um, Keys to Effective Family Posing. Goodbye, awkward and stiff. And so if you want to say goodbye to awkward and stiff clients forever, go watch this class. It's linked in the description. I know that it'll be super helpful for you. And the best part is you can use it in your very next photo session. So go watch that. I know it'll be helpful. Okay, let's get into posing our red truck. Anytime I talk about red truck Christmas minis, a big question that I get a lot from photographers is how do I pose my clients in a way that's like fresh and you know isn't boring and just uses the truck in creative ways because it can be so easy to get sucked into like boring red truck poses of like, okay, so I sat them down, like now what? And so my goal with this video is to give you some visual examples of a lot of different poses that you can use just in variety through the sessions that you can have a nice full gallery. So the pose that I always start off with just because it's really simple, it gets everybody kind of used to me warming up to the camera, all the things is I have everybody sit on the back of the truck bed. And so obviously we have like our decorations in the truck bed, but I have the whole family together um, sit on the edge, like right where the truck bed would like fold up. Um, that's where I have them sit. We usually have a pretty blanket and all the things and we just squish them in together. And for the most part, we can fit the entire family on that truck bed. Sometimes we have to, you know, pile kids on laps. Sometimes you may have to um, put some kids kind of on the second row. So mom and dad are sitting and then the kids are behind them on their knees or whatever to make everybody fit but it's a really simple pose that is great to get things started. And you can have everybody looking at you. You can have everybody looking at each other. You can have them stay and you move your feet to kind of get different angles of them sitting in this truck bed. And it's a really great way to start off your gallery. And I like to do this pose sitting on the edge of the truck bed with the whole family. Like I said, we always start that way. You can also do it with just mom and the kids, just dad and the kids. You could do it with just the kids, mom and dad out. And even with the kids individually, set them right in the middle by themselves. And that way you can see your pretty decor behind them. And it's just a really, really sweet shot. And you can get some wide shots. You can get some close up shots. There's so much that you can do um, with this sitting on the truck bed pose. So it's a really easy way to get started and um, then you can build on from there. Now, the next pose that I like to do a lot, usually with like individual kids or with mom and dad, is I will have them sit a little further back into the truck bed with their back to the side of the truck bed uh, or of the truck, I guess. And so their legs are sideways, kind of parallel with like the front of the truck bed and they are 
leaning against the side with her face to me. So it's kind of, you know, over the shoulder like this. Um, and that's a really great shot I usually do with, like I said, individual kids, or I'll have mom and dad both sit that way, dad behind, mom in front. Um, and that's a really sweet shot to just kind of change things up. They look a little snuggly. I usually have some pillows in the truck, so it looks really, really sweet. And it's a great way to kind of get some more of that decor into your photo too. If you've got a Christmas tree back there, or like I said, pillows or presents or anything like that, then having them sit like that allows you to see a little bit more of the decor too. So that's a really great shot. And it's so cute with, you know, little kids, big kids, grownups, it doesn't matter. It's a really great versatile shot. The next pose I love to do specifically with kids is I have them sit on their knees inside the truck bed and lean over the side of the truck so that they have their hands up. I can see their faces and it's such a cute shot. So I'm standing on the side of the truck to get that shot. Usually I have like my Christmas tree in the background or whatever. Um, and you can have the siblings together or have them do this individually. And it's really, really sweet. Now I don't have adults do this shot it seems more of a like kitty pose um, but it's very cute and then I'll have like the kids interact with each other or um, you know looking at me looking at each other they can tickle each other there's so many other like posing prompts that you can do within the space pose and every shot that I get here looks so so cute and so you can get a lot of variety there get some close-ups get some far away shots that you can see the whole truck there's so much you could do the fourth shot that I like to get in this one is with the whole family again is everybody standing next to the truck and for some reason I always do it on the um, my left their right side of the truck I don't know why that's just where I always put my people but I will have them stand as if we're posing them you know in just a bunch shot like if there were no truck there um, but then like having a slight lean on the truck and it's a really sweet shot I'm able to I kind of come off to the side so that I can see the whole truck behind them and it's a great way to use the truck as more of a prop instead of sitting on it they're kind of leaning against it and we're able to get some good variety there and so I usually don't do this shot with just, you know, one kid or the siblings or whatever. It's typically a whole family shot because I want the shot to look nice and full. And if it's just a kid or a few kids, they look super tiny next to the truck. And so it really helps to have mom and dad in this shot to just kind of balance everything out. And then the fifth shot that I love to get with all my red truck minis is having them walk in front of the truck bed. So my truck is still backwards. The bed is still towards me. Um, but I, instead of having them sit on the truck, I have them stand in front of it. And there's so many different varieties that we can do here. We could have them all, you know, holding hands in a line, walking towards me and the truck just happens to be behind them. We treat it more of a background piece at this point. Um, so we can have them walking towards me. We could do some front and back things. So, you know, mom and dad in the back with the kid in the front, you can have them cover their their eyes while mom and dad kiss and um, that's a cute one you can have them run and give hugs with the truck in the background um, there's like I said so many different things that you can do by getting them on their feet and the truck becomes a background prop and so just as if you had mountains in the background or a field or whatever you can do so many different shots with the truck just in the background you could do a bunch shot where your family is in focus and the truck is slightly behind and it's blurry um, and so you can get a nice wide shot so you can see the truck but it, the family is the focus kind of off to the side um, so so many different varieties that you can do there but once you kind of get that flow of all of those different poses red truck minis go super smoothly and so I typically do things in that order, like I said. So start everybody sitting in the truck bed and we get all our shots there. Then we'll do some like sitting towards the side. Then we'll have them prop up on the side, then come out of the truck and do standing next to and then standing in front of. So it flows really nicely. And it, so you want to avoid like the up and the down. So we don't want them in the truck bed. Then let's get up and go in front. Then let's go back in the truck bed. Then let's go to the side. That's too much movement as little movement movement as we can possibly get the better because when you add movement then it takes time and with mini sessions 
time is really, really valuable and time is limited. And so you want to make sure to, to pose your families effectively and efficiently so that they're not moving a lot. So if you can follow that nice little flow, then it goes really, really smoothly. And you'll notice that, you know, you're able to get through a lot more shots with so much variety in the gallery. My families are already always really, really excited when they see their final gallery because there's so much that we can do with a truck besides just sitting in it. And so if you're planning on doing red truck Christmas minis this year, I highly suggest follow some kind of, you know, posing workflow like this. And I think that you're going to be really pleased with the outcome. And if you have the chance to take promo shots before your actual minis, that would be amazing. And you can use that as an opportunity to practice some of these poses so that you get a feel for different posing prompts that you can use and groupings and things like that. And it'll make your mini sessions when you're actually doing them go super, super smoothly. So if you have any questions about posing with the truck or you have any other um, posing ideas that you've done that I didn't mention, go ahead and comment them below. I'd love to first see your ideas because that's always fun, but also be able to answer any questions that you may have about posing with the red truck or red truck minis in general. So I hope you found this video helpful and I'll see you back next time with another video. Bye guys.